What's up, guys? So, the company I want to talk about, they've done teamed up with another company. Uh, I've seen a couple other reviewers talk about them. Um, I finally got a hold of some of their stuff. And so, here we are. So, the company I'm going to talk about is Naughty Bear Supply. Now, this one is Yorktown. This is leather, gunpowder, smoke, and musk. And the ingredients are Golden Jehovah, Argon, Coconut, Grape Seed, Hemp Seed, Safflower, not Sunflower, Sweet Almond, and Castor Oil. Now, this is leather, smoke, gunpowder, muskwood, and sandalwood. I really like this scent. It's more like a manly scent to it than anything. And I know it's wrong to say a manly scent or whatever, but that's what it is. Half a dropper, like yellowish, you know, oil that we're used to. Now, if you don't know it, Cam Davis is the owner of Naughty Beer Supply. He makes, from what I hear from other people, it's really good stuff. So now I get to find out how good the stuff is. Now... I do have the bomb to it. Now, the ingredients on his bombs are beeswax, shea, mango, and argon butter, coconut, Jehovah, argon, hemp seed, almond, and safflower oil. The essential and or fragrance oils. It's a little bit lighter than the oil. Now, it's going to be a softer bomb. So it's the color of the balm. It's going to be more of a conditioning, probably a lighter hold conditioning balm, which will be fine. As long as I get to get to hold these little flyaways back here down, fine by me. So, with that one, also I'm going to do this first. I have the beard butter for Bravo. Now, Bravo is clove, citrus, vanilla, and black pepper. Now this is going to be about the same color as the bombs, but this is butter. Now the ingredients on here are going to be the same as the bomb, but they're going to be in different order. Like on here, it's shea butter, mango, and argon butter, then your beeswax, then all your oils. So, there's your butter. Now here's the Bravo oil. Ingredients of the oil are going to be the same. What sticks out to me is like the citrus and clove. A little bit of that vanilla. But that's what's sticking out to me first. I really do like that scent. That's really nice scent. Now the butter. The butter is a little bit lighter. Now the butter is lighter than scent. But that's okay. So the last thing is a good wash. Now this the ingredients on here is this makes this a thick wash. Now the ingredients on here are <clears throat> water, Jehovah oil, sweet almond, coconut, cocoa butter, argon butter, shea butter, argon oil, castor oil, essential oils, which are peppermint, tea tree, patchouli, and rosemary. Now, this is going to be a, I mean, this right off the bat is a thicker wash. I do like the scent of it, but here's, there you go. That's how thick that wash is. I mean, that's a thick wash. So it's going to be more of a conditioning wash with all the butters in there. But I will let you know how good it cleans up beard also. But I do like a good conditioning wash. You know, I wash my beard a couple times a week, but I co-wash it every day. I always co-wash my beard, but I do wash it a couple times a week. And every two weeks, I just fully strip my beard of everything that's ever been in there. Fully strip it out, then I kind of start over. So this will be a really good conditioning wash. Now the wash goes for 12 bucks, 
The oils go for 12 bucks, and I believe the bombs go for 14 I'm not sure on the price of the butters. But really nice scent so far from what I got from town. I do appreciate you sending it out to me, brother. And give me a few weeks, and I will come back, let y'all know how it does, how it feels, how good it works, and how the beard butter will do in my challenge. Especially with it being cold and hot. We're going to see how good your butter is in my challenge. So guys, that's what I got for you. Hope you're having a good one. Stay bearded. Stay tuned. See y'all later.